I know what it's like to sleep that sleep, to just not, and, and I saw the animals killed on the farm. I chopped the heads off chickens, and I would still eat fried chicken in my, in my early 30s. And the human mind has that ability to put down that shutter of emotions, uh, to just pull the curtains, uh, and, and we, we, we become mindless when it comes, oh, we like that, that chewy, salty, uh, meaty texture in our mouth. Uh, and that uh, takes precedent over, over the realities of, of what we're really eating. And so I feel that I know what it's like to sleep that sleep. I'm not going to wave, uh, point my finger. If the, if the 72-year-old me appeared in a puff of smoke to the 25-year-old me and say, what are you eating that stuff for? I wouldn't have wanted to hear that. So, um, so I have compassion. They're, they're not bad people. They're just asleep. I was asleep. We were all asleep. So all you can do is loving you set the example when they when they're a tray of cheese and, and meat hors d'oeuvres. Kind of, no, thank you. Powerful word. Pe pe and people notice. They notice what you eat. They notice how you navigate through these chains. Not an issue. I, I'm, I'm not going to sneak a little little chicken leg when nobody's looking. I'm not going to eat a little beef ground up cow when nobody's looking. That, that's abhorrent to me, the thought of it at this point. And so there's no willpower involved. No, I don't need that stuff. And uh, you, don't have to, you don't have to make them feel bad. But start with yourself and the example that you set. And when people ask, and lovingly you tell them, and, no, I, I, I only want to eat foods that make me healthy. I only want to eat foods that help heal the earth. I only want to eat foods that don't involve animal suffering. There's lots of reasons uh, to justify when people ask, but you got to let them ask. But don't underestimate the power that your example sets.